Good morning. No, of course not. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, guys. Wherever you're on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. I humble some bitcoins. I trade some bitcoins. Yes, it's all about stacking sets. And no, I'm not going to make a sad video because the Bitcoin would have a little bit below 30k on the four hour now at the moment. That still needs to close, but. I'm going to make a very nice video in the short term, mid term, long term, five, that's ten, five <laughs> amazing charts, amazing charts um, that give you a clear view on yeah, what is the bearish side, what is the bullish side. Let's jump into it. Bam! Boom. The four first um, chart, guys. This is the four-hour chart. Like you can see, we have that huge green area that um, is support, and we are now at twenty-nine thousand six hundred ninety-two. That's below thirty k, guys. This candle still needs to close in thirty-five minutes. This four-hour candle is going to close, and this candle is probably going to close below that thirty k level. Um, that is bearish that is very bearish we should be closing above the 30k level but as long as we still stay on the 4 hour above this lowest close 28,900 um, it's still a little bit positive but to be very honest below 30k I've been saying it all the time that is not the most bullish scenario let's jump into the day chart and see what is happening over there so the day chart we are still and the day chart is uh, on the blx no it's also on the bible chart you see we are still at around that 30k level we can have that wick so it's we need to see the close of the day in 16 hours if the candle will close below 30k or not if the day candle is going to close below 30k yes we will probably go to 27k or maybe even 25k or 4k it's all 24 not 4 24 <laughs> it's all possible but i will tell you um along this video what to do okay let's jump into the next chart bam so that is the day chart also not looking very bullish but still hanging around that 30k which is not bearish as well let's see this one bam over here we are on the week chart now this week chart is showing us we should be staying in this area these are hiking ashy candles and we should find support on this yellow line which is the 50 weekly moving average the 50 weekly moving average should hold support and that should hold that candle above 30k but the, the candle is already below 30k this is the weekly chart that means this candle needs to close in five days and 17 hours to be very clear for the ones that don't know how these candles work if the price would go now above 34,000, this red candle becomes green and it's a huge wick down below that area if this candle be closes above here like 32,600, also this candle will be a green candle because then the close was higher than the opening that is how these candles work so we need to close above that yellow line of 31,900 to find support on the 50 weekly moving average. So all of this, yes, is nice to see and nice to look at. And yes, you can stress about the minute chart, about the hour chart, about the day chart, about the week chart, or you can trade it, or you can accumulate Bitcoin, or you can buy the dip. But I will show you in the next couple of charts what to do, guys. To be very clear, I trade all of these movements you know you can trade Bitcoin downwards that is what they call shorting or upwards what they call longing and if you trade with indicators and I'm going to say it one more time like the bam bam I will show you what happened now with this short just to see to show see show how much profit you could have made um, with that indicator for example let's take a look now at that short guys this is the short flag. That's the indication we'll see a short. We need a close down below the ye yellow stepping light for a confirmation. That's only happening over there. There, not yet, almost. 
Now let's go to the bottom of the chart. Here we see blue and yellow starting and we see the red dot over there. Here we see the red line on top and the orange in the middle and the green in the bottom. Here a little bit earlier already we see the bam bam crossing down below. That's one. So we have the flag first, then the bam is crossing down below two, then we have the blue and yellow three, the red line four and we have the closing five. So that would have been an amazing short on the four hour chart. And the four hour chart, the short is still open. You would have, let's say, opened it very late. And if it was still open at the moment, we would be now around here at 3.0, oh, sorry, at 3.8% profit already without leverage. Just imagine with leverage. So that's a good short that we could have taken just because you follow the steps of the Bam Bam Minicator. If you want more information about the Bam Bam Minicator, please go to the bitcoinfamily.com. If you want to trade this on Bybit, Dudex, or on uh, Prime XBT, please sign up to these exchanges using the referral links. You can get a donors on Dudex from $300. I think Bybit at the moment is around $1,000. And I think Prime XBT is a 50% deposit bonus. That is a huge deposit bonus on Prime XBT, guys, 50%. So make sure you trade and accumulate Bitcoins during these movements. Now, let's quickly jump into those charts that will tell you a lot about the market at the moment. That is a... Uh, uh, bam! Here, these charts. Yes, for this part, I will make my face a little bit smaller again. This is the first chart, guys. This is the chart made by Glassnode. This is bearish. They are saying that the OTTC desk balance, the balance is structurally going down, which means which means that this is the moment OTC desk are, are selling their bitcoins. The outflows are structurally going downwards. And that means that a lot of people are buying in this period bitcoins. They are buying the bitcoins. So when OTC desk don't have bitcoins to sell anymore, the market becomes dry. And that needs to turn around. And that is, a, that is happening over here now. And the question is now, is this again the turning around the market? Are OTC desk now buying Bitcoins again? Are they receiving Bitcoins? So then huge investors are still selling. Then this could be very bearish. But it could also be that it's a turnaround of the market. So let's see if this line is going to go higher, higher, higher. That means that market could be turning around, guys. Next chart, bam, over here. This chart shows you... Um, the total supply in loss. At the moment, 6.2 million Bitcoins are held at a loss. That's around 33% of the supply. And that is what you can see at the moment. 6 million Bitcoins are held in loss. That is not bullish, that is bearish because people that are holding their Bitcoins in loss might freak out stress out and might start to sell bitcoins which creates sell link pressure <laughs> like that my mouth is dry sorry so that's also not very um bullish guys a little bit bearish in my opinion and here bam we have another nice chart um on this one you can see at the moment in, in 2021 at the peak let's say like that 185k new entities we created every day now currently we are lower we are at 28.6 percent lower new entities created every day like we see in 2017 it was 165 new entities every day at the top and then 77k at the bottom that's like 53 percent so the question is is this 28 percent going to drop even further I don't think so because I can see over here if you zoomed in over there that we are going up again we were like deep and we are going up but we need to see how this will progress these all are like bearish indicators but there are also bullish indicators that's this one because these entities yes we have less entities per day created but still we have 130k new entities created and the question is now, what are they doing, these entities? And that is what we can see over here. Of those entities, there is less sending entities. There is a declining amount of sending entities. 
there is a rising amount of receiving entities so the net entities growth is going up so yes less bitcoins are being sent but the entities are receiving bitcoins so the entities net growth is growing so this means that the people that are sending less bitcoins but are receiving bitcoins are becoming hodlers so a lot of entities are hodling and not trading i think this is positive i think that is bullish and if you look into pam over here we can see indeed that this current supply long-term hodler supply is 70 percent that one is increasing with 14.7 k bitcoins a day so 14 thousand almost 15,000 bitcoins a day are pushed into the long-term hodling and this is what we see over here you can see that 70 percent 75 percent sorry so that's in profit and around of the all the bitcoins it's around six percent that is now in loss of these long-term hodlers so only six percent of the long-term hodlers is in loss you can see it, you can calculate it over here in this area. And around 75% of the long-term hodlers is in profit. This is very positive. Because if 75% is in profit, they are not going to sell. The 6% of the long-term hodlers that is a loss, they will probably wait till the market turns around. Or if they sell, they can't pressure the market very much down because 75% of the hodlers is still in profit. Let's jump into the next chart. Over here, bam. This, this shows me the liquid supply change. So the amount of Bitcoins that are liquid are the Bitcoins that can be sold, that can be transferred very quickly like that. During the top of the price over there, you saw that indeed a lot of these Bitcoins became um, liquid so the illiquid supply was decreasing that means to become liquid now again it returned to accumulation so we see an increasing illiquid supply which means more and more bitcoins are held in long-term storage and doesn't make them liquid like you can sell them now directly so this is very positive. People start to trust Bitcoin again. They think that we are bottling around around at 30K. Very positive news in my opinion. And this one, bam, over here. Also guys, same, the Bitcoin net, uh, the miner net position change. Yes, the miners, they were accumulating over here during the top. Then here, you can see that the miners start to sell away the Bitcoins distribution. But now again, we can see that they started to accumulate bitcoins again which means miners are not selling and they are now accumulating with 3300 bitcoins per month so this is a shitload of bitcoins has been accumulated again by miners i think this is also very bullish guys do we have more bullishness bam over here yes this is also very bullish this is the exchange net position um, outflow and inflows um, you can see during this bull run top partly bull run top you could see that a lot of bitcoins were being pushed into the exchanges and why to sell them and that drops the price so people send bitcoins to the exchange to sell them and that drops the price that is understood now look what is happening now this is happening people are taking away their bitcoins from the exchanges again 36,000 bitcoins per month are taking off the exchanges 36,000 bitcoins per month that's a lot of bitcoins that's flowing into hardware wallets and all that stuff because people believe that we reached a local bottom around 30k and they want to go to 100k with the bitcoins that they pulled off the exchanges and do we have any more bullishness oh my god let's see um, that was I think everything in the bullishness so now the big question because this question has been asked to me for many times bam let's go over here now the question of the day is what should we do this is the stock to flow model this stock to flow model shows us what Bitcoin price could do and if we take a look at the stock to flow model we can see that the average price of Bitcoin should reach 100k in the next couple of years and after that if we took a longer view to 2028 we should even come around to 1 million US dollar 
The question now is, do you believe in that stock to flow model? Do you believe that we will hold this green area line down here? Like this. And do you believe that line can turn up again to the top? Do you believe that we will create some new dots, but those new dots will go up like this and then above this line? If you believe this, that Bitcoin will go above 100k in the near future, talking about the next one, two years, for example. If you believe this, then what do you think you should do? In my opinion, you should accumulate Bitcoin every day. Or by earning Bitcoins, or by trading, or by dollar cost averaging, that which means buying Bitcoin like every Monday for $100. Just keep buying Bitcoin. If you believe that Bitcoin really will go up to 100K or to a million in the future. These short-term fluctuations shouldn't matter to you because it matters it should be mattering to me i am all in my capital is going bam 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 of course it matters to me but it's not that i'm freaking out and you guys most of you are not all in so it's only a small part of your capital what is doing this you should be adding more and more and more and more bitcoins every day no matter how you do it if you use the bam bam indicator issue dollar cost average that in my opinion should be the strategy not freaking out about the minute and the hour charts, but zooming out and looking at the bigger picture of Bitcoin, making sure you will have a pension in the next couple of years. That is what I think about this whole situation. And yes, I make my daily videos to try to help you with trading and to show you that we could go up and could go down in the short term because I know a lot of people love this game. But that doesn't mean that on the back of my head, 80% of my Bitcoins, 76% of my Bitcoins, is in long-term storage, is in a huddle position, huddle position, not freaking out on them. I can freak out on the 20 to 30% I trade with because it's a game, you don't want to lose a game, but that's the game you play. You need to accumulate Bitcoin and have a nice portfolio set up so you don't freak out all the time. That was my video for today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think? Will we go to 20k, 24k, or will we keep above 30k with the closing of this beautiful daily candle that we are going to close in like 15 hours from now? Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam! You better pray.